What is up everyone, it's your Deathbits. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I am going to be showcasing some of my old models, and also I'm explaining why I'm going to repaint them as well. So these models are from a set called Hero Quest. I'll just put one here. It's not really painted that well. And this is a board game. It comes with models, as you can see, and it comes with furniture, cool stuff. Like that bookcase. Here's a torture table. Has some neat dice with it as well. I only have some game pieces we got rid of the game board. But the reason that some of these are painted is because back in the day we had these hero scape figures, which are these things right here, this guy. And they go along with this tile. So they're their own kind of board game. I think they're Hasbro brand. I'm not sure, but I think they are. And they're pre-painted figures, they have their own bases, and they're just kind of cool, and there's different stuff. There's soldiers, there's zombies, there's ninjas, like that lady there, if I get to focus. And so, my brother and I were kind of intrigued by this. I think we were looking up some stuff on YouTube and came across a mini wargaming video. And we kind of thought, like, whoa, this stuff's cool, so it was Warhammer 40k. We thought this stuff was cool, so maybe we should try and paint. So we had these figures lying around in the basement, and it was good practice for us to start painting. It's not the best paint job. Like, here's a Black Knight. Looks very similar. I think there's a GW Knight that looks very much like that. And they're really cool. I feel bad, though, because I broke the whip off the gargoyle. So when I repaint these, I'm going to have to make a new whip from scratch, either with like hot glue or that little wire that I make my barbed wire out of, and I, th I think that'll look cool. There's different stuff in this set too as well, there's zombies, mummies, skeletons, there's this cool sorcerer, sorry about the bag, but I'll just move the heroes aside, maybe I'll put another thing here. You can see this skull and the rat are actually kind of painted. I'm debating whether or not I should scratch off the mold lines if I can get this to focus. Come on. There we go. So you can see there's a mold line on the skull. And I don't know whether I should scratch it off or not. But this is the Chaos Sorcerer. This is the guy that I'm really going to paint up nice. And I'll explain why within a few minutes, don't you worry. There's also mummies, which we hadn't done anything with. Sorry for the brightness here. But there's mummies. There's zombies, there's different stuff too, like this table, there's a little tomb right here, which I've fielded on some of the games and it looks cool on there. There's doors and everything that's really neat. The reason I'm talking to you about it is because I'm starting to play Pathfinder now with some of my friends, which if you don't know, Pathfinder is an RPG board game very similar to D&D. It's essentially D&D 3.5, but modded slightly. You people who don't play won't understand that. But essentially, we have like a paper that has a grid on it, it's inch by inch, and that's our playing field, and then we just have these figures on. So I'm thinking I am going to strip these figures, which were the first things that I'd ever painted, and I am going to make them look actually really cool. And I think I'll be able to do that really well. Like, look how ugly this guy is. So he's pretty ugly. And the reason I want this guy painted up so well is because my character is a necromancer. He used to be a human, or he was human at the very start, but we had this vampire in the party. I got knocked unconscious by a stray firebomb from the goblin in our party. And what happened is I got knocked unconscious, a ghost possessed me, brought me into the woods, and the vampire found me, and he bit me and slashed my throat with his claws. So now my character is undead, I'm a vampire, which is amazing because I can control undead, and it's great because every time I die I just go back to my coffin. It's just truly amazing. I love it so much. It's fun. And these knights here, I think I'm going to paint them up kind of like Black Legion guys. I think that might look cool. Of course I'm going to restrip everything because these are um, testers paint, that's what it is. And I'll actually use my good model paints, the Citadel paints that you can see in the back there. So yeah, Pathfinder is really fun. I love my DM, I love my group, they're amazing. We've had lots of fun adventures and we have some inside jokes too about cows. Don't ask, that's, that's a story for another day. Anyways, I would like to thank you all so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a like and a sub. And I will see you all in my next one. Goodbye!